Hi everyone, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to give, be giving you some of my top tips for painting realistic and vibrant and rich shadows in your animal art. All right, let's jump in. So my first tip is to not rely on black paint. Mm, sounds a little weird, right? A lot of shadows tend to be really dark, sometimes black, but they actually aren't. By using black in your paintings to create your shadows, that is one of the easiest ways to make your shadows super lifeless and drab and monotonous. And those are all things that we do not want in our animal paintings. So rather than using black paint, so in this case, ivory black or lamp black, Mars black, I recommend using other colors instead. And yes, I did say colors. So my favorite way to avoid using black at all in my paintings is to make my darkest colors out of three main colors here. So burnt umber is my absolute favorite. I use this in every single one of my paintings. It is absolutely essential. It's a really nice dark, cool tone brown that is perfect for shadows, so burnt umber, and also a violet of sorts, so dioxazine violet, cobalt violet. These are really beautiful dark purples that are typically pretty transparent, and when they're in a nice thick layer, they're super, super dark, and it adds such a gorgeous richness to those shadows. The last one is Prussian blue. So Prussian blue, I personally find it to be a cooler tone, almost slightly like greeny brown toned blue, but when it's really concentrated, it is so dark. And especially if you mix those three tones together, it basically looks black, but it's so much more rich and vibrant than if you were just using black paint. So next time you're gonna be painting those really dark shadows, try using those colors instead of black. My second tip for painting rich, vibrant shadows in your animal art is to use better quality paint. I don't normally say this because I personally don't want expensive art supplies to be the barrier between someone painting and not painting. So I recommend always starting with what you can, but because I am talking about top tips for how you can make your shadows a lot more rich and vibrant and realistic, I have to mention this. So higher quality paint tends to have more pigment and less binder in it. And that means that you actually are having a higher concentration of that pigment. So you are gonna get deeper, darker, more rich shadows. My next tip for painting realistic, vibrant and rich shadows in your animal art is to actually color swatch your reference photo. So open up your reference photo in some sort of digital program. If you're on a computer, this can be Photoshop, this can be paint, whatever you need. If you're working on an iPad or different apps, there's usually a color picker option. And I want you to take that color picker and go in different spots in the shadows and then look at that isolated color you're gonna notice that they can actually be super colorful. And especially when you are painting shadows, sometimes there's little tricks that your mind might be playing on you and you might not realize how colored that shadow is. So whenever I'm feeling a little lost in my painting and I'm struggling with color matching, go and take that color picker and actually see what color that shadow is. It's gonna be pretty eye-opening. So my next tip for painting beautifully rich, vibrant shadows in your animal art is to use glazes. So if you've been watching me for a while, you know I'm all about the glazes. It is one of my favorite techniques for painting, life changer. But using glazes in your shadows can be really game changing because you can actually build up more shadows with those glazes, but you can also change the colors of your shadows too. So if you're finding that you've been using too much black or your shadows are lacking that vibrance or even depth, mix yourself a glaze, make it darker in certain areas, add some color, 
it's a very easy way to totally transform your painting. <clears throat> and my final tip for painting rich, vibrant shadows in your animal art is to use color theory when you're completing your shadows. So a lot of the time, and this is where using that color picker trick can be really key, is your highlighted area and your shadowed area, when you actually do those color pickers, they often are gonna be opposite colors. And if you actually adhere to that and consciously paint in, even if it's very subtle, those opposite colors, it's going to make it super rich and vibrant and make it look really realistic. So one of my favorite examples of this, and I'm a little partial to it because it's the color combo I use in most of my paintings, is I like to paint a lot of animals at, let's call it golden hour in the day. So that's when the sun is low in the sky, the sun is setting, it's got a really strong, warm, golden light. And because you have that yellowy gold color, that yellowy orange gold, that light source, the shadows, they tend to actually be more purple in tone because it's on the opposite side of that color wheel. So I always make sure that my shadows are more purple in tone when I'm using that golden hour sort of warmth and brightness in my highlights. All right, those were five of my top tips for painting vibrant and realistic rich shadows in your wildlife paintings. Hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, make sure you subscribe. I put out tons of awesome videos that are super helpful for my fellow artists out there. So make sure you hit that big subscribe button if you haven't already. So thank you so much for watching. If there are any tutorials that you specifically are interested or topics that you want me to cover, leave a comment down below. That's how I find out what you guys actually wanna see. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.